And that was a little snippet of a short movie. It's a seven-minute movie called Superia. Right. Yes, indeed. And welcome back to the Sea Morning Show. Welcome to our second discussion of the day. And this time, we'd like to introduce you to Superia, or Suara Perempuan Indonesia. This is a project that provides a safe space for women to tell their stories through artistic storytelling methods. Very cool stuff. Now, to learn more about this project, joining us this morning in the studio is Superia producer Kartika Yahya and artistic director Rumana Yamani. Hi. Welcome, ladies. Thank Good morning. You. Good morning. Thanks for dropping by. Yeah. Good morning. <laughs> Thank you so much for gracing our studio. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so tell us about it. We saw the uh, little snippet of your short movie, the movie that you directed, Rumana. So what is Superia? So. Okay, so. <laughs> this is the thing about women, right? Yeah, we're we're like, very sensitive to towards to each other. Exactly. This. Okay, uh, so Superia is a multidisciplinary arts project. And, mm -hmm. uh, the one you saw was in the form of a short film. Right. But we are also in preparation to do a theater production. Right. Uh, it is a platform for women to tell their experiences, their stories, mm -hmm. their voices through artistic storytelling, mm -hmm. meaning we will involve actors and non actors. Yeah to uh, co-write the script with us mm -mm. based on their experiences. Mm -mm. And we make this to counter so many stereotypes surrounding yeah. women. Yeah. People put us in boxes, they think they know yes. what we're going through. But when we s dig deeper, there's always a story. There's always something that, you know, you can see these women from a different point of view. So we'll mm. have uh, women from Aceh. We'll have women from the Pantura Dangdut industry mm. and we'll have trans women and we're still looking for three other stories so we mm. have an open audition right now. You have an open audition yes, right now. Yes. Oh, that's really cool. Right down your alley, by the way. Uh, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> and actually, it's it's interesting because Rumana and I were in the same theater production back in 2019. Yeah, we so were on stage we together. Ah, <laughs> no surprise there. Exactly, right. <laughs> Uh, anyway, Tika, you mentioned about these three women from mm -hmm. Aceh, from Pantura, and the other one is from... Trans uh, uh, Trans, trans women. Mm -hmm. Trans women, mm -hmm. right? Why particularly these stories? Because we see them all the time in the media, yes. but oftentimes from the lens of somebody else's. Mm. Mm. And we rarely hear from their own voices. For mm. example, we hear about what women go through in Aceh, uh, in the media, but how often do we hear the women reciting their story about mm. it? Same goes with Transpuan and with Pantura. It's a huge industry and it's run by women, mm. but also we want to know, we want to put the women as the subject this time, not yes. the object. Yes. Now, yeah. uh, obviously you've decided to put this first into a short film and then a theater production. Why did you choose to convey your message in that way? The short film? Yes. Um, so basically, personally, uh, we wanted to make like a, like a warm up. Okay. I, I, I treat it as, as like a warm up mm. to prepare for the bigger production, which is the stage. And um, also, we had another uh, donor that helped us to create this. And um, I think this is a good start to open up a conversation and just to test the water of some sort. And. And Matika um, already like beautifully writing these stories from like seven women. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, so uh, we decided to make that for a start. Mm. With, with all the issues that women have to face, I mean obviously there's a lot, I'm sure there was a lot of stories and choices for you to mm. choose from. What was that process like for you to finally filter it down to the few that you have selected it's and the hard. few? Yeah. It's hard. <laughs> it's hard because... Yeah. Yeah. Because we, we get a lot of these auditions coming in and they all have fascinating stories. Mm -hmm. yes. You will never guess what these women are. Can you share some through. of them that are still in your I mind? am not sure if it's ethical for me to share right. because it's something that is still in the process of right. auditioning. But just in, just, uh, in a broad view, mm -hmm. uh, you think some women are doing really well, mm. like there's no problem in their life. You never know who's experiencing domestic violence, really, yes. mm -hmm. and who's uh, struggling with addiction, really. All of that, mm -hmm. basically, yeah. So did you decide to choose on issues that were m more relevant than perhaps some others in today's society that today's Indonesian happen to be facing? Uh, more or less, yeah. and I don't know, as far as I'm concerned, we've had these issues for like ever. Yeah, mm -hmm. centuries. Mm -hmm. yeah, centuries. Centuries. It's only now we're. But sharing. it's like a form in a different way. Mm. Right. So mm. we're trying to 
convey the message in a different way, mm. which is like more relevant to us today, mm. easier for us to grasp. Mm. Yeah. Well, and I was I was very intrigued by the short movie that you directed, Romana. I mean, there were. Three women, four women actually, including you, Tika. Yeah, so, yeah there were both of us. <laughs> oh, yeah. Seven. oh yeah, you were in the very beginning, <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, there yeah. were seven. There of were us. seven yeah, women. Yeah, yeah. So, I know that you're currently submitting to festivals, and probably you know you can't really share much about it. But what can you share uh, to us about that film? So, um, for me, the short film is a very intimate piece. Mm. It's a very nuanced. It's a kind of reflective. Um, thing to watch, mm -hmm. especially for us women, mm -hmm. and at least that's the response that we got when people watch it in front of us. Mm -hmm. They were like really listening because, like most, I mean, like all of the uh, script that is written by Matika is like each woman personal stories. That is basically it. It's their stories putting into words, mm -hmm. and I try to make it as a visual storytelling. Yes. So, but the nuance is very intimate. Mm. It's their own story. Mm. I would really, I would really want to share it with you, the video, but yeah. probably like <laughs> other times because it's really interesting. And I, myself, when I look back at it yeah. and watch it again, uh, every time I re-watch it again, I get something new. Mm. Like Interesting. So it's like a piece of painting. Yeah, with yeah, lots yeah, of yeah. interpretations. And, yeah, yeah. Mm. And it's... Yeah, it's really easy like for this to be like elaborated into like a, a full... Like, a full feature Written, film. writing, mm. play. That's wonderful. Yeah. Why do you think it's important for women to, to be represented as the complex women that we are in cinemas, Romana? Because <laughs> we, each of us is, women is complex. Like, we are complex individuals. We have hormones and stuff, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. that is okay, and that is um, the reality. And that is very, I think it's a very interesting thing to share, mm -hmm. those <laughs> stuff that we encounter mm. that probably men cannot comprehend and mm. cannot, that doesn't process, process the way we process. Mm. Mm. And we kind of want to tell them how it feels mm. from our point of view because yes. it's different. Mm. Even though they, they basically come out from women as well and they carry that yeah. in them, yes. I believe so. Yes. They have that in them but they just don't show it or society repress it, I don't know. Yeah. Creating toxic masculinity. Yeah, 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 yeah. But they have it. it they they have it in them. Yeah. They understand. <laughs> I'm sure they understand. <laughs> you understand, right? I'm, I'm, I'm trying. Sure you do. <laughs> I can only do my best. Well I think you're a good husband but, yeah, to cheat to your wife, yeah. so it's like I think you understand. We have to play our <laughs> roles, exactly. Exactly. So speaking of roles by the way, um, so this ongoing uh, auditions are taking place for the yeah. upcoming theater theatrical production. Yeah. So what is it that you're looking for for the remainder of these auditions? We're looking for stories, definitely. You don't have to have a certain look. You don't have to have a lot of followers. Okay. That's not what we're looking for. Great. But, <laughs> you know, because that's kind of the norms nowadays oh in a lot gosh. of things. Mm, Tell yeah. me about it, um, And we don't think that's uh, conducive for what we are trying to convey. Okay. Uh, we want the diversity of the juxtaposition of these, the composition of these women. Mm -hmm. um, with the three, we already know what we're looking for. The one I told you, Dangdut, Pantura, Aceh, and Transpuan. And we're almost at the point where we're getting that. But with the other three, because we're looking for six mm -hmm. at the moment, um, it's a wild card. Mm. No, we oh, don't. Oh, so you still don't even no, have it. No, because yeah. we're, we're looking at these videos and thinking, this story would go good with this one, and this one, and mm. this one. For example, if you uh, have contrast between these stories. but. Yeah deeper inside there's mm -hmm. similarities mm -hmm. and we're also proud that the film which is already done mm -hmm. uh we have it's women-led for example it's yeah. uh, it's directed and produced by women written, and by, written women, by women yeah. and also uh behind the screens there are women in front of the screens there are women mm -hmm. and the women are not only just gender able-bodied women but also mm -hmm. we have a person with disability mm -hmm. we have transgender women, all of the ones that we think, all of the groups that we think, when we talk about art, they're often not included. Yeah. 
-hmm. or they're put in a different box. Mm -hmm. We don't want that. We want to present them really? equally. Really? That's, that's a shame, isn't it? Because I would have thought that art would be one thing that everyone's on a level playing field. I think we're trying to. We are. Like we're getting you, there. Right? We're I mean, if you, even if you look at Hollywood, just very recently they're giving more chances yeah. for Asian actors mm -hmm. or, you know, Asian True. filmmakers to sign get language acknowledged. And stuff exactly. Well. Sign yeah. language, yes. Coda, yeah. right? I yeah. think that movie. Yeah. 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 But pay is still not quite equal there yet. I, I don't know about that, is yeah. it? No, I'm not sure, but I read that mm. it's not quite there yet. Ah, but there well on their way. So, um, going back to the selections that you have already decided, Pantura, Aceh, Transpoan, how, mm. how did you already decide on that already before, like set your mind on that um, first? For me personally, I've always been fascinated with Dangdut. There is no Dangdut song that I wouldn't dance to. But yeah. I, think, I think you influenced me in that. Yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah. Like I started listening to Koplo. Oh, really? really? Like, oh, yeah. the talking best. about, and the they're best. like, they're, I, I dance to it. Legit, right? I don't right? lie. Yeah. I don't lie. It is party music. Yeah. <laughs> it's like UK garage of Indonesia. It is right? though. You can't walk Seriously. by a stage without. Well, yeah. this yeah. kind of At festive, least right? Will yeah. move. You definitely will move. <laughs> Yeah, uh, actually, I did a documentary there in 2009, mm -hmm. and um, I find it fascinating that every time I ask, uh, "Can we have a woman in the crew? Can we have someone mm -hmm. here?" and they're like, "Oh, women are just not interested. They're not interested. Uh, they're and just not given the space." No, I don't believe yeah. when people say the women are not interested. Yeah. So mm -hmm. we're just not looking hard enough for yes. women who are interested. And and for trans women. Um, I've had a lot of experiences working with trans people, and I think that uh, when we come to conversations about women, trans women are still viewed as or othered, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, so in what way? In what way are they othered? Um, in in a way that a lot of people still think that trans women aren't women, mm -hmm. but we have a different view on that. Right. We think trans women are women, mm -hmm. so when we talk about women, we have to include trans people in it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And I would like to also go back to the audition. So you are opening a, a yes. doing an open audition at the moment. Yes. So how 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 do these women out there watching us at the moment, when they have stories they want to share, how do they audition? You go to Instagram. Okay. You find at Project Superior. Mm -mm, Project and Superior. And then there will be a link where you can. Uh, sign in for your audition tape. Okay. Don't forget, Instagram at Project Superior, follow now. Until? Yes. Hey. When will this be held until? Until end of April. End of April, okay. Yes. So April. over a month remaining. Now, yeah, let me find it. Yeah, while Marissa's looking at that, in the meantime, yeah. we've got some data to share with yes. you as well from the WHO that shows that gender-based violence still remains devastatingly pervasive and has actually started at an alarmingly young age. Yes, one in three women around 736 million women are subjected to physical or sexual violence by an intimate partner or sexual violence from a non-partner, a number that has remained largely unchanged, unfortunately, over the past decade. Indeed, and data from the Indonesian Commission on Violence Against Women, or Komnas Prampuan, shows that Reports on the cases of gender-based violence against women have increased by 80% from 2,134 cases reported in 2020 up to 3,838 cases in 2021. Yes, indeed. And, and this is the thing about women, right? I mean, when we are, especially if we are in a relationship that is toxic, uh, women tend to be gas gaslighted or gaslit mm. and that's when they no longer know what is right or wrong and mm. oftentimes they feel like they're the crazy one mm. because their partner makes them feel like they're crazy so this is definitely a challenge um, because I was growing up in that sort of household mm. where my mother just couldn't get out and uh, because she was gaslit she didn't know what was right or wrong but I think women in the current era uh, especially with the presence of social media, more information, we are made to be more aware when something is wrong and we need to do something about it. Yeah. Indeed. Now, you are a huge advocate for gender mm. equality. Why has that number gone up recently in Indonesia by such a drastic rate? And what is the level of awareness in regards to gender, gender equality here in this country? Yeah, there are several possibilities why the number goes up. I think 
it may be because the cases are on the rise, or the other possibility is maybe because the women are starting to speak out about their mm. experiences. Okay. Mm. And Boy. you begin to see more of the tip of the iceberg. And I'm not saying the whole mountain yet, yeah. but more uh, voices, more visibility, more uh, women going to report their cases. Uh, but it cannot stop there. It has to. Uh, it has to be continued. But you know, because we, we we demand women to speak out, mm -hmm. Mm. right? And then once we speak out, there's nothing there for us. There's mm. no safety. There's no right. right? Yes. There's no follow up in the terms of how our cases are handled um, by law enforcement. Mm. Mm. It needs to be an all around effort. Yeah. And laws have only recently been changed last year. Right. Mm. Has yeah. the level of awareness changed as well along with it? Because, it so. you know, knowing that the laws can protect you mm. might help people, yeah. more people to speak out, more women. To I speak think out. so. I think so. Yeah. I think it's a really big step yeah. with uh, yeah. uh, UUPKS. Yeah. And, yeah, we can, we can start to have hope that it will be reinforced as mm. a change. That's yeah. right. That's really the next step. I, I, that's an interesting perspective because I read that as well, that... Uh, higher numbers don't, aren't necessarily a bad thing. It just means that more. this is getting more of a spotlight yeah. on it. People are starting to speak mm -hmm. out more. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately, that also means the numbers will go up. It's kind of yeah. like COVID. More people got tested, more positive yeah. cases. It doesn't mean it's a bad thing. Exactly. And another thing other than the law that is very important, of course, is also the society's judgment, right? Ah. Mm. Because, you know, when it comes to this, uh, especially in Asian culture, we tend to sweep things under the rug. Absolutely. Yeah. Sort of like, ah, just don't talk about it. Just, just take fine. it. Everything's fine. You know, don't embarrass your family. Don't mm -hmm. embarrass your husband. Or you know, it's like, all of these pressures are additional pressure for women not to speak out, and it's time for it to change, right? Right. Yeah. All right. So, speaking of the theatrical performance, we're very excited, definitely, yep. uh, for the short film. You still don't know what the release date is and where to release it. Yeah, we're we're working working on it. We're yeah. you're working yeah. on it. Coming there will soon. be screenings. Definitely. And, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. great. And what about the theater the theater performance? So it's yeah, I'm really excited and I'm really happy that we met. Actually, we met through a coincidence through Mas Paul yeah. Oh, so, Paul Augusta. Yeah. 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 Oh, good. Okay. Like, From Puma. Uh, yeah. So I went to Selatan uh, on that day uh, to watch the performance of the Bengala team to Puma. Yeah. And then Mas Paul <laughs> introduced me to Matika and yeah. then. We talked and she was telling me about this play that she watched uh, in Sydney yes. called Playlist, yes. uh, which is about five women yes. from different ethnical backgrounds <laughs> uh, telling their own stories. Mm. So Matika told me she wanted to make something like that, yeah. but contextualize it mm -hmm. in a more like local way, in an yeah. Indonesian way, and I'm like, sold. All right, <laughs> I'm, I'm in. So, and then it got delayed, uh, COVID hits. Uh, because yeah. of the pandemic, right. It got yeah. delayed <laughs> until like, it. we started since to 2019, 2019. end yeah. of 2019, oh, wow. yeah. it got delayed. Yeah. Uh, so it evolved into this, uh, this now. Yeah. Um, yeah. Because at first we wanted to make it like a, more like a, the format of playlist, yes, but yes. now it's like kind of evolved into something else. But more or less, it's pretty much the same. It's kind of like a documentary theater, like a verbatim theater per mm, se. So mm, mm. it's based on data. The story we get is from interviews from these women mm. that we will write into a, a play. Right. There, there'll be a, a yeah. narrative. There'll yeah. be a beginning, middle, and end. So it's not going to be the person who has the story who's performing. Not necessarily. Ah, so you modify the format yeah, a little yeah. bit. So okay. the actor, yeah. the performer, yeah. will be uh, representing other yeah. stories as well that Lovely. we included. Mm -hmm. When is it going to be? We're excited already. Beginning of year? Uh, end of this year, beginning of next year. Okay. Uh, we're still shopping around for partners and donors. And uh, this pre-production, we are lucky enough to get supported by uh, Voice Global, which is from the Netherlands uh, government. Right. And also IVLP Impact Awards, which is the US Department of State. Uh, for the actual play, uh, we're open. Anybody? Yes. <laughs> how how can they contact you? Um, just contact us through our social media or projectsuperior.idea@gmail.com. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, our social media is again Instagram at Project Superior. Uh, we're looking for audition tapes and we're looking for um, anyone who's interested in partnering. Yeah, there you go. And stories. Yeah. Philanthropists out there, 
check it out. Awesome. Get your kids or yourself to Instagram. I know I'm not on Instagram, but you can still contact them. <laughs> project Superior, support this wonderful uh, project, especially um, as they, they are really creating women's stories told by women, written by women, which is actually very important. And a perfect time for it because, yeah. I mean, March 20. is the Women's Month, right? It is. That's right. Et voilà, c'est ça. There you go. <laughs> Can you imagine 2020, though? We want to put on a theatrical production. Nope, no that's way. not going to happen, yeah. but now would be a great time for it. So we <laughs> wish you all the luck in Thank regards you. to your following steps in yeah. reaching that goal. And uh, we wish you plenty of luck in the future. As Thank, well. you so Thank, Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you, Tika. Thank you, Romana. Thank you so right. much. Hey, speaking of uh, Instagram, don't forget to follow ours as well. We're on Instagram, <laughs> Twitter, and YouTube at C Today News. The C morning show will be right back after this. <laughs>